good kitten internet. Meow. Um, I'm sorry for the very long time between episodes. Um, we actually did record episodes in between. But, yeah. Um, long story short, the audio corrupted about 16 minutes in that first episode that we recorded. The are, uh, microphone audio. Are we recording at the correct resolution? Yes. Okay. I'm looking at what we're recording right now. <laughs> Let me double check that first. Um, because we messed that up too, but um, that was caught early on. The microphone audio just kind of dissolved about 16 minutes through and disappeared. The game audio was never recorded. So... So we're redoing that. Yeah, part. 45 minutes of the first episode and all of the second episode recorded had no audio. So, in a very strange turn of events, I have no idea what we just did. I had to ask them right before this started, and they do because they watched the glitched videos, and I didn't. Yeah, I know what we did that we need to redo. Yep. Um, so, last we left off, we had finished part of the quest for Keone, but we need to wait another 24 hours. Now that we have um, fixed the glitch. So I believe what we were going to do, or what we did last time at least. Was that we started pursuing mainline plot. Yes, we're at Neon. Why are we in Neon? To deliver the star parcel package. Oh right, that was the last, actual last thing that we did. Yes. So we're pursuing mainline plot up until a point that they have warned me I do not want to cross right now. Mm -hmm. And we're specifically pursuing it partially to make sure we don't get glitches. Um, this is a glitchy area. They have Is it all three of your characters or just two of the three? All three of them have hit the glitch where I can't get new powers. The charger for our headsets. It's a magnetic charger, and it was attached to my water bottle. Achieving orbit now. I just received a text message. So, do you want to redo what you did, or do you want to go do something fun? Well, if you have a suggestion for me, I am two ears. Because I'm not all ears. That would be a potato. Okay. How about going to Mars? Getting my ass to Mars? I suppose I could do that. Because we haven't been back to visit the uh, Terramorph Management Division. No, we haven't. I take it that Mars that's, that's, oh, Why was I just the opposite to Hardy? <laughs> my brain went, oh, I need to go to Seoul. I saw Seoul up there and then clicked on the Opposite <laughs> Excellent job. I'm tired. <laughs> I had a nap earlier. I didn't. Because I'm tired from traveling. And I've been a wee bit on the sleep deprived It's side. actually... Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's... Yes. TMD headquarters. Yes. Yeah, we long travel. We cannot breathe here, which means one more way to potentially die. Let us have some fun, then. Ah, was told they're expecting you. Head on in. They are? I wasn't expecting me. How were they expecting me? They've been waiting for a long, long time. Apparently. Oh, everybody's standing around, too. But you all are here because you can handle it. So any questions, concerns, anything at all giving you pause, you come see Dr. Walker or I. Little problems left unchecked, become big problems and we fix big problems here not make them now let's get to work welcome everyone to the tmd hello captain looks like we missed each other back at mast listen i just wanted to say i could have never guessed where all this was going to lead but now knowing what i do that my father truly is the monster I always thought he was. Well, 
I've just spent a lot of my life in pursuit of the truth. So, you bringing it straight to me, it just means a lot. I forgot to use precog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we are friends. Friends look after each other. The best ones certainly do. You know, I was thinking while we were up on that podium, if I wanted to try and see him again. But I knew the answer before I even finished the thought. I didn't. Because confronting him, what would I have gained from that? From letting him remind me I can never truly be rid of him. Nothing. Now, all I'd be doing is acknowledging that he still has some sway over my life. And while I can't do anything about his role in my past, I'm not about to let him control my future. And thanks to what we've done together, that future is brighter than it has been in a long time. Words can't do justice to how grateful I am for that. I did not get this part because I didn't tell her that her dad was alive as mm. early as you did. Whereas I was like, yep, nope, we're telling her right now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out who randomly texted me. And I have a hunch that this is a spammer. Or you could do that some other time. Huh? Yeah, she's a bullhorn now. I did not know that. You know I can't do that. I've got an assignment. But I'll never say no to a visit when you're in the area. Remind us all how much we owe you. Nope, she's not a follower. No, she will be soon. Well, I think it's safe to say you succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. It's been an honor, Captain. Good luck out there. Fortunately, she doesn't have any skills that are applicable to a ship. Mm. Took hundreds of years for terramorphs to spread across the stars. We're gonna need to be a lot faster cleaning them up. Yep. Cleaning up the galaxy in record time. I don't like the framing of cleaning. Our CEO calls this assignment the petting zoo. <laughs> Big talk for someone who still refuses to set foot in the facility. <laughs> <laughs> ah! They actually have a terramorph here now. They have several. That seems a little more than slightly dangerous. Yeah, and they're Aldi. not giving any enrichment. That's a sterile room. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> There's no soil for it to burrow in. There's or... definitely signs that it's intelligent. Yeah. The sapient might be a different story, but definitely intelligent. Yes. What? Heat leeches. The whole time it was heat leeches. Okay. Hello. I sincerely hope there is adequate security for this facility. Hi. I hope so, too, because otherwise Mars is doomed. Just saying. Um, one of the patch notes for the recent patch is that they are now preventing a scenario where you can use powers in inadvertently set one of them free. I don't know which power. <laughs> <laughs> like, Excuse that? Me. That's animal cruelty. Yes. It also, matter. it looks like an armored chocobo. Yeah. Like, With four legs. It doesn't have any food or... Yeah. If you see a violation, it's your duty to say something. Yes? Those habitats are too small. Yeah, I would agree. Hello. Give, give it something comfortable to sleep on. Hey. And... <sighs> I could use some time away from the microscope. Wonder how late the broken spears open. Food or heat leeches? That's chasm bass. So food. Well, those are heat leeches. No, no they're those eels. Are eels. Heat leech, eel, potato, potato. 
Okay. <coughs> Your lungs do not want to drip. This is the deep mind zen, isn't it? Yep. <coughs> Weapon? No, it's just the arc welder, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yes, what? Pardon? Okay. Hello. Sad. I want a house for Rune Observer. Yes! Ah, autopsies. Yes, I hope there. I have not ultimately made Magazine. a mistake ah. in resurrecting this place. Can't do the job without the right tools. And I have the tools for the job. Don't worry. I'll handle the paperwork. Vampire's gift. It's med theft. The gift is med packs. Also, your weapons are kind of garbage. Yeah. Yes, the ammo that you kept running out of. Yep. During the two lost videos. Mm hmm. Which is why I just immediately bought it all. Do I have things on me to sell? Yes, I have. Oh, that's right, because this is the... I could wear that. No, wait, no, that's right. That was in the Lost video. What was? Uh, the alternate armor that I found that was also... Um... Oh, no, that was my other character. Derp. Never mind. This is cell bait, because... It has a unique effect. What, pacemaker? Oh, peacemaker? Yep. Yeah. I suppose that probably is better. Also, lighter weight and better armor. Uh. So, Vanguard Space Tactics 02. That's at least a useful magazine. What I want to know is, why are they using desktop computers from, like, 2003? <laughs> that's a optical drive bay, and that's an SD card slot. Just saying. Actually, it might be Compact Flash. Anyway. Howdy. I think uh, Dr. Walker is around in this area. Okay. There's Kaiser. Yes. Yep, there is. You had to do the terror morph test, right? Where they let it, you know, in your head, see how you react. Yeah. What happened for you? I honestly don't remember. I just woke up in a puddle of blood. Everyone else in the room? Dead. That... that didn't happen. Guess you never know, will you? That's creepy as hell. <laughs> it has been a pleasure working with you. Major Salon is responsible for my creation. The work of the Xeno Warfare team required a vast array of specializations. Field scientists capable of surviving in deadly environs. Soldiers delicate enough to leave dangerous Xeno life forms subdued. But unharmed, Major Sanon constructed me in an attempt to accomplish all those needs. I believe my field record would show that she was successful. Keep your meals in the break room, okay? But slightly changed. Yep, yeah, but... That is correct. Major Sanon, the work just of the Xeno War mm -hmm. soldiers delicate enough. Major Sanon can... Until about me, you're... My primary work was accompanying Major Sanon and Dr. Walker on field assignments to collect specimens for possible battlefield application. 
But on more than one occasion, I was actively deployed, my time on Nura, directing Unit 99 and its siblings against Free Star forces. Was such a deployment. Did you end up on Nira after the war? Hmm. I'm not certain. After the disbanding of the Red Devils and the Xeno Warfare team, I was put into storage. I do not know how I came to be reactivated, but a partially deleted log suggests sale to a non-military third party. I presume this third party was responsible for transporting me to Nira and providing me with my new directive. Eliminate the planet's remaining Xeno weapons. I have no additional data on the subject. Hmm. Returning to a previous operation. And he wandered off. Oh, he's just behind me. Why, hello, fellow Class 1 citizen. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. Now, was there something you needed? Kaiser, my freezer's been on the fritz. Is there any way you could store something for me? I can do that, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can't afford another setback. You are quite welcome. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I hadn't heard that one. <laughs> Chest freezer time. How long have you been with the UC? Who knows? Probably need to cut me down and count the rings to figure it out at this point. I joined UC DRIP, Defense Research and Initiative right. Program, right after graduation. Worked on all kinds of projects, but I fell hard for Xenobio. The way I saw it, nature had already figured out plenty more than we ever will. So, why not just copy some of the answers? Initially, it was a lot of material sciences, using carapace to make tougher ship hulls, biofluids for helmet glass that didn't fog. But when the war started looming, Top brass in the UC military had other ideas for what we should be looking into. That's where Xeno weapons got started. There was a team before us, set up in some secret base somewhere, that laid down a fair bit of groundwork on the field. On Crete, but perhaps? When a lab accident took them down, they called on Hadrian and I to take up the mantle, set in motion everything that's come since. How long have the two of you known each other? Oh, yeah. Known each other since the Xeno weapons team first set up on Mars. You can imagine my shock when I walked into this place for the first time and found some plucky 19-year-old was going to be my partner. <laughs> we were supposed to be co-heads initially, but you've dealt with Hadrian. You can imagine about how long that lasted. But the Major knew her stuff. Saw potential in all her staff and knew how to get the best out of them kind of bull only an uncynical woman like Adrian could pull off. <laughs> For all the damage that group did, we were, well, we were real tight-knit. Having that back, it's nice. So, tell me about your time in the unit. Why? You want to watch an old man squirm? What we did back then, we were trying to win a war. We used every tool we had, tools we were permitted to use at the time, to try and win it. Hmm. Never said I didn't. Whole point was to create weapons so scary every Freestar Collective boy and girl would drop their arms and run home. We thought, well, we hoped it would be comparatively merciful. People just giving up instead of deploying to the battlefield. Wrong on that front, too. But at least now, with the TMD, some of that work is finally being put to better ends. Makes looking back a little less painful. So apparently you have work for me? You heard right. These Terramorph attacks, they caught the UC off guard. UC Brass doesn't like that. So, they want us patrolling the front lines of xenological life, ensure we've got intel on any possible new alien threats. Which means, we need someone to track down said aliens, and harvest samples from them. And not just any sample from these animals is gonna do, either. We're trying to build a comprehensive picture here, which requires specific cells from specific family lines of some oftentimes unfriendly creatures. 
But since dealing with unfriendly creatures falls square in your wheelhouse, well, and I that's... figured we might be able to recruit you for the task. <laughs> oh, yay, more aliens that want to eat me! Thanks, but no thanks. It's not an interesting quest at all. Am I going to have to kill these creatures? This isn't the same sort of harvesting you and Hadrian were doing with the Terramors. A little will go a long way here. If you can get close enough to these creatures to harvest from them directly, you should be able to collect what we need without killing them. I'd check with Lieutenant Gwalter before heading out. A good EM weapon could serve you well on these missions. Though, if heavens forbid, there's no viable option other than putting the things down. We're only talking a select few specimens here. These populations will recover. So when I did this, it was a flying creature, meaning it was practically immune to EM. So the only way to do it sure. without... You decide you want it? The only way to do it without killing them was to leave my follower behind. Excuse me? And just run. So is there anything else here that I should... Uh, that was the the magazine was the big one. Also, oh yeah, oh yeah, there's a terminal. I think uh, I remember seeing it. It was over here. I was think it, it was uh, Hadrian's terminal. Uh, no, no. I remembered seeing it and was wondering, I but I think it was on the ground floor in one of the back rooms. It actually explained quite a lot of about the uh, transformation sequence. Mm. Not here. No, it was kind of an office cubicle sort of thing. Like in this area? Uh, no. Yes, in here. Right there. Ah, around the corner from Hadrian herself. Incident reports. Uh, Dr. Guillaume. Guillaume? Guillaume? I'm horrible at trying to pronounce, pronounce French mm. names was asked repeatedly to eat lunch in the designated break room rather than at his desk, leading to at least two sample contaminations by Dr. Walker. After the second documented sample contamination, Dr. Walker set fire to the personal effects of Dr. Kiyame, causing a small class one fire and triggering the sprinkler system to engage and required a temporary evacuation of the research ring. Wing. Yeah. Result, Dr. Walker has been issued a citation and a fine for the evacuation and endangerment of a secure facility. He has stated, loudly, multiple times, he'll be appealing. Dr. Guillaume will be taking a two-week remedial lab hygiene and safety course back at New Atlantis. <laughs> on the day of the incident, Miss Bellamy, one of our lab techs, was on leave back in Sidonia. While at the Broken Spear Bar, she was approached by Lance Corporal William Cyrus, a member of the TMD's Marine Detachment. The two began, fratner uh, began for, uh, fraternizing. Yes. The first of several fraternizations, apparently. However, upon discovering Mr. Cyrus was married, Miss Bellamy requested a transfer. Mr. Cyrus, however, without telling Miss Bellamy, decided he'd rather leave his wife for Miss Bellamy, proposing, in the middle of the workday, to her. She said no, and re-emphasized her desire for transfer to her superiors. Result, Miss Bellamy's request for transfer is pending. Lance Corporal Cyrus has been transferred and will be a fa face appropriate disciplinary measures. Notation, I am suddenly reminded why I prefer to work with animals. <laughs> <laughs> Redacted started complaining of irregular sleep patterns, disconcerting dreams, and eventually insomnia. Offers of leave were made, but refused by Redacted. Note. This was the first error. Employees sleep, uh, sleep patterns will be, need to be more closely monitored going forward, and regular leave required, not offered. On the night of the incident, Redacted asked their direct supervisor if he could take a sample from specimen M4. Authorization was granted, and Redacted proceeded to M4's cage. 
Note, a second error. Access to gauges need to be a multi-step authorization, not something a lone superior can decide. Supervisor. Yes. Upon reaching m cage, however, rather than s properly subduing the specimen, Redacted simply unlocked the cage, allowing M4 to exit. M4 walked past Redacted without harming him, but upon further progress, the biological alarm systems engaged as expected, and M4 was immediately disposed of by the Marine contingent on duty. No casualties occurred, and we got very lucky. Redacted was found unconscious outside the cage door, checked for injury, and placed under arrest. Somebody got... Mind controlled. I wonder who it was. Well, it's protected, obviously. Uh -huh. Heat leeches. The settled systems had a most annoying award. They'd be the champ. A hundred years running. Would you suspect an irritating room? Uh, why am I having problems speaking today? Could transform into something with the mass of a backhoe? It's no surprise. Generations of scientists whiffed on this. But now, knowing what I'm looking for, it's so damn obvious. The key to their explosive growth? Skin cells. Tightly wound bound bundles of tissue, able to expand explosively at a moment's notice. Plenty of creatures evolved them independently over the millennia. Hell, Old Earth even had species that utilized them when they were in danger. But the tricks of those species, instantly creating a cloud of slime that's 10,000 bigger times bigger than they were a second ago to evade a predator, is it nearly the same as birthing an in whole new creature right before your eyes? At least, not at first glance. This is where heat leeches go from pest to perhaps the most interesting creature in the damn galaxy. In all previously documented cases, the skin cells present in a given species were specialized, usually reserved to one, maybe two particular uses inside of the body. But in heat leeches, they're everywhere. In a couple of older leech specimens we dissected, every muscle fiber, bone, and nerve was packed with densely wrapped versions of themselves. Under the right circumstances, like the end of a 70-year gestational period or a shower of Lazarus pollen, the skeins are unleashed, turning little muscles, bones, organs, and nerves into much larger muscles, bones, organs, and nerves, and transforming an otherwise obsequious pile of slithering meat into a walking tank. This explains their long, Jesus long, standard gestation cycle. Why it takes near on a century for them to show on a colonized world. Building up that many little spring-loaded cells takes time and lots of energy. And while we're still decoding the specific mechanisms that do all of that hard labor and winding up millions upon millions of skin cells over generations, what we do know is that Lazarus pollen acts as a catalyst for the winding process, launching it into hyperdrive. But with or without Lazarus pollen to speed up its arrival, the final transformation appears to always be the same, rapid and violent. This also seems to hint at why terramorphs look so unwell. People had always noted that they looked raw, more organs on the outside of the body than the inside. My guess is that's because their formation requires them to be partially broken down, pretty standard for all natural metamorphoses, and then effectively ripped open by their own cells as the skeins release. Human adolescence isn't fun, but heat leech adolescence is something else entirely. The skin cells, though, they aren't even the most amazing part of the sequence. The reassembly. Exceptions abound, but in general, your average metamorphosis in nature takes from a couple of weeks to a couple of months. The cells of the nymph get broken down and repurposed to leisurely become a fully formed adult. And as we know now, the heat leech completes this exact same process at the drop of a hat. Every cell and protein knows exactly where to go, and the propulsion provided by the skin cells lets them get there at breakneck speed. Imagine a skin graft that can grow and direct itself to damaged tissue in a matter of seconds. Imagine a human body that can clot and heal over a wound in a mere moments after the damage was dealt. First aid, trauma care, accidental death? Things of the past. If we could harness this behavior, these little creatures could change human life forever. Okay, I just reread this and lady, you are getting way ahead of yourself. But still, can't help but get excited about the possibilities. So, they're springs. Lots and lots and lots and lots of springs. These fishes are very tense. Mm. Facility Emergency Procedures It is the responsibility of the facility directors to familiarize themselves with the varying levels of emergency procedures should you the unthinkable ever don't occur. really need to read this part. Okay. Then I'm going to just scroll through. Mm -hmm. 
So people can screenshot it or pause as the case may be. Hey. But I thought that was interesting mm -hmm. how they actually explain. There's also an ammo container in there. Not that you are using a uh, old earth shotgun. No. It's the only weapon in the game that uses 12G shot. Um. Shells? Pardon. Yeah. That's where I know. All right. Where to now? Now we are going to the Schrodinger system. Okay. Oh, it's daytime now. Although, maybe you should save first. I don't remember the rec recommended level for this. Okay, where's the system? Um, off that way, so I... Uh, wait, we have the new update. You can hold down Alt, can't you, to... Oh, yes! I forgot. There it is. Level 65. It'll be fine. I need to jump through a few systems first. Okay. Starting with Lunara. Yep. You know, only a level 25 system. What's um the uh, Nemeria system? What's the level for Nemeria. that? 35. Okay. That's also a place you can go. Well, we're already going this way. Okay. Like, I don't remember what a satisfying moment level I was when I did it, but... I mean, my other character has gone through level 65 systems before. Yeah. And you have Andresha with you. That sounded like someone jumping in. Yeah. But, but I'm not seeing any... Ooh, there are Starborn about. Oh. That visual glitch, it means there are star Starborn ships. And they are not showing up because they're more than six kilometers away currently. Okay. So you can stay and fight, or you can jump to the next system. Forgotten military base, apparently. Yep. That has a magazine, but it's a grunt, so you don't care about okay. that, I believe. Now going up to a level 40 system. But you do need uh, kills to get piloting. Oh, that is a good point. You can still cancel the jump if you go into the star map. I've never canceled the jump, so I wasn't sure how. So where are they then? Uh, if you look around, you can usually spot them at some point, but it is visual only. I've gotten decently good at spotting them, but... Ugh. The constant focus and unfocus is actually hurting my eyes. Yeah, it is super annoying, but... I might have to just ditch just because I can't find them. Well, if you stand still, they will eventually reach you, I believe. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily help. No. There they are. Ah. Uh, three of them. Yeah? I barely fought off one, may I note? So maybe quick save? before getting much closer. And take the power out of your graph drive and put it somewhere useful. Oh, yeah. So obnoxious.
Will you stop with the damn blurring? Uh, there they are. Are the order of finders keep You are out of range for your weapons still. Uh, About now you're in range, I think. Gonna lose shields very quickly because yep. I'm fighting three things that are a little too powerful for me. Shield has recovered a little. Yeah, but I'm still fighting two at once. I'm not the greatest at that. Um, why am I still. You need yeah. to be hit to escape. On the plus side, they keep targeting my grab drive primarily. Thing, but not actually. Shall we pause the recording while the ship repairs? Sure, why not? I want to double check to make sure that it's actually, yes, it is still getting audio. Pausing. And we're back. Okay. I am, in fact, going to quick save. <laughs> Except I forgot to do that before pausing. And we're moving on to the next system, which was here. Nicola. It's the same stars as all the other times. Mm -hmm. Mostly. Waiting for... Ooh, ecliptic this time, eh? Use your particle beam too. repair your ship. And I end up in scanner mode again. F. Yeah. Your hull is... I'm aware. It's actually higher level than the Claymore? Hmm. It's smaller, I believe, but... But it's more modern. Grab drive. 
hope they have ship parts because you are Captain, very low on the. Our grab drive is fully repaired. No, it no, isn't. It's... It is. Well, there's one ship part. But you spent what three? Four. Okay. Enroll deposit. Uranium. Cool. How many ship parts do I have left? They're in eight. Three. Yeah. Is there anything in the system where I can buy some ship parts? Um, check the planet you are orbiting. If there are any crash sites, since you did take out, doesn't look like it. Whole lot of nothing. <sighs> Unlucky then. And the system does not have any ports. No, unless there's a civilian. Yeah, but I'm not going to look for that. No. How about we head over to the Cheyenne system and uh, upgrade our ship like we did in one of the videos? Oh yeah, that's right. That's part of the reason why this is going so poorly. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for my grav drive to finish repairing. Yeah, I, I noted down repair. exactly what changes we did so we can do it a lot faster this time. Okay. Oh yeah, do we have a perk to spend, or do we have just? I think we just have the one that we're saving for. Um, I think for piloting. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we only have that one. Admittedly, we're definitely doing a much better job at getting that point. All right, Cheyenne. Felicity. Not the empty nest like I've landed at once before. I spent significant time here meeting with smugglers. Brings back memories. Smugglers in Aquila City? No. <laughs> yeah, especially with the uh, smuggling route I discovered. Oh yeah, I forgot. They, yep. We have new upscaling modes. That's the reason why it's running better. Okay. Because it's running at 4K and actually maintaining frame rate for the most part. I just want to see what it looks like looking down here. 50. That was 30-ish before. Mm -hmm. Uh, you should also try to buy some ship parts while you're here. Yep. He's not in here. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, it's just... We're asking everyone to take care of any leeches on their... Hey, what can I do for you? First off. Okay, sure. We'll take care of any holes. Sure. All right. It. Okay. Um, upgrade. The White Dwarf 3000. You replaced it so with, with a, a 3001, wasn't it? Yeah. 3010. Or, yeah. Um, it, more thrust, better engine health, yep. same power usage. It is strictly better. Yes. Next. Uh, you're going to have to go into the builder for the okay. other, other things. Except builder. Delete the, uh, the Deimos landing gears. Right, I'm starting to remember this. And then add in the um, 3G pinpoint. Ending gear. Gear. Right, it's just gear. 3G pinpoint. Uh, do you remember which of the... The mid version. That's not the mid version. No, you can... yeah. Uh, that's the wrong height. Yep, you're right. Still do not like height system on this. That's not at all where I wanted you at. <laughs> there. 
And then a magic one there. Yep. And then paint them. Yep. That was... I remember there was a color... Pick one that has the color you want. Copy set. Then... Highlight. Control highlight, not shift highlight. Paste. There we go. And enter. Because if you can... Yes. And then we replace the cockpit. And you have horizon weapon mounts back there that you can put the weapons on. And they're not... Mirror imaged. I know. Sometimes you have to sacrifice some things. I'd rather have it up there. Yeah, so it doesn't shoot into yeah, the, the weapon. Yeah, the weapon, exactly. And then we had uh, a uh, samurai cockpit. Regular samurai, not enhanced, right? Yes, because regular has better cargo mass yep. ratio. And then and this they... was also needing to be painted, paste set, and her. And that's all the changes with it. Okay. I have a warning. Ooh, what's the warning? Oh, because the weapon got moved. I think you had a another weapon. You had a laser that was under the cockpit that got oh. deleted with the cockpit. Damn it. Okay. Well. I don't suppose you have to remember which one no. it was. Because Should I just did... undo the. Just get whichever laser or other weapon you want that is three power or two. I mean, I know it was three power the one you had, but. Yeah. I'd rather have three or two for sure. Um. Class A only. And it is... Is it shield or... No, it's shield priority, right? Mm-hmm. That's four power. I know I wasn't going to use that. Iron versus pulse. This seems better in every way. Maybe it is. Uh... Does more shield damage yeah, half the fire rate? Yeah. Sort by DPS. I'm not sure yep. I. It's showing DPS, not sorting DPS. That's okay. what it is. So if I sort by DPS for shield weaponry. Then the best is a visual launch. Yes. Laser, but four, four, auto projector, which is not laser in this case. But we already have that as a weapon, so yep. it would just go. On. So, that one, and then you are going to get added to here. And then purchasing is outside. Yeah, I think the general store would be the one that would have ship parts. Trade authority might also have. I don't know. Aquila City's really. By the way, where the microphone currently is, I cannot see anything in that. Yeah. I need this slid over like that. I get all. I'll say right up front that. It how about I just show you? Need two parts. Digipix? Hmm? Yes, Digipix too, oh. usually. Yeah.
That's a constellation helmet. Oh, you're right. Did not want to sell the constellation stuff. I thought I had that stored, but apparently not. Yeah, I just did uh, Sam's quest on my third character. I'm so disappointed I never got a pinstripe suit. Aww. Like, if it wasn't glitching so badly, I would just replay it until I got one. Mm -hmm. But it's like the two ships come in for landing and only one of them opens the bay doors. But actually, there's a workaround where if you take off and land again, then the other ship will open its bay doors. And then two more come in for landing and only one of them opens the bay. And, and then I have to take off and land two more times because it doesn't always work. It is a buggy mess. Seem to remember that I sold a large number of mines. I'll leave it like that. Okay. Oh yeah, when I did that thing in uh, Schrodinger, I was using a lot of mines. I think I was also under level for it. Cargo, uncargo, aid, ship parts, transfer to container. Not. Ship, <laughs> aid. Gimme, gimme. Gimme. I really didn't need the food, but oh well. Now we have it. Yep. Okay. Let's continue back on our way to Schrodinger. That was... Leviathan is the next one. Level 55. Great. I'm sure nothing bad can possibly happen as a result of this. Spawn something game? No. That's strange. Okay, I guess I'm going to continue on. Level 65! <laughs> It'll be fine. Hopefully it'll be fine. Ah! What a ride! Switching grab drive Switch to colander. normal propulsion. I just noticed that when we use the upgrade to change the engine, it retained the paint job. Mm -hmm. It didn't when we did yep. it manually. The colander. Mm -hmm. Look at it in scan mode. F. Seems to have a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we need to dock with it. Although we are almost at time for the video. Yep. Is this going to take longer than five minutes? Yes. Ship then is now docked. Let's stop Perfect. at the Didn't even smudge the porting. Pain. Well, this has obviously been a happy go lucky place. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!